And a peek into the locker room. Players soaking in the last few moments before the game. Some final preparations here. The Queen City is the setting for our broadcast tonight. The view from the top of Charlotte with the Spectrum Center in the background. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Joined by Chris Weber and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce, our reporter. Looking now at some numbers for Tim Hardaway. He's been really dialed in from deep during these last five games. Looking assertive and in control every time he rises up to shoot from beyond the three-point line. And it's been fun to watch. We're just about ready for tip-off. But first, let's hear from the sideline. Allie, it's all yours. BA, we've seen smaller market teams unhappy with how the buyout system has played out as of late. Agents using their leverage to get their clients to a more glamorous situation. Is it truly shifting the balance of power? That's subject to debate, guys. But these concerns aren't going away anytime soon. Well, we'll see what comes of it, Allie. Thank you. And Grant, you look at these rosters. A lot of talent in the backcourt. Oh, a sign of the times, B.A. Agility and skill is in demand, and that is on display tonight. Now let's take a look at the Rockets' opening lineup. They've got Kevin Porter, Christian Wood out there with Miles Bridges. Then there's Cunningham. And for Charlotte, Zach Levine out there with Ball. Then there's Kyle Anderson. Then there's Wagner. And so off the tip, it's Charlotte. Ball outside. Over Bridges. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. One falls for him. And so Ball nails both of them. Here's Cunningham. Solid D from Wood. And he buries his first look. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punish. Levine against Porter. Goes up on the baseline. Levine can't hit. The drive by Porter. Soft touch off the glass. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Levine. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. No fear trying his luck inside. You know he has hops. And he drops a first. I mean, he's a versatile player who can come play either guard position. I mean, Levine continues to impress as the years go on. And so he hits both. 
Oh, he's never rattled at the strike. Always has that nice soft touch on his free throws. Here's Cunningham. Hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them. Look, they say there are no easy finishes in the NBA, but that should be easy. Now here's Ball. Pass to Pollard. Yes, sir, and it's Ball with the assist that time. With anticipation on the feed, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Here's Cunningham. In his last outing, he had 11 points. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. Back to Wagner. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, that was clearly a foul. Franz Wagner. And the first one at the line is good. And Chris, playoff seating on everyone's mind right now. These games are taking on a postseason atmosphere. Yeah, and anybody who says home court doesn't matter, I, I respectfully disagree. I mean, even in a series, uh, especially in a series between fairly even teams. Good on both. The Rockets have gone two for five to start today's game. Stolen by Ball. And here comes the break. Fires for three. And Wagner hits from deep. Wagner's got five. And you can make a coach panic when you take a three on the break. But as a good shooter, uh, with nobody on him, uh, he's got to take that shot. And there it is for him. Very difficult to slow him down defensively, especially when you have communication problems. To the inside, Pollard. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Cape is doing many things well. Levine has a good sense of when his guys rope. Here's Cunningham, pounded by ball. And it's Cunningham missing. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. And there's the call on the mellow ball. That's his first foul of the game. A great job to establish position and square up. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And it's Porter. Kevin that time Porter. on the assist by Cunningham. Porter's gotten his second bucket. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. Now here's Wagner. He's got five. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot, no good. Nice D from Bridges. The Rockets trail. Here's Porter. And then Porter with the dunk. Oh, great ball movement from Bridges there. I mean, the self-awareness, the selfless attitude leading to the wide open shot. Ball outside. Pass to Pollard. Levine against Porter from 11 feet away. Nice jump shot. But this is the confidence that he has to show. I mean, he knows he has the touch to score inside. Here's Cunningham, pounded by ball. That one rolls around and rims out. It's been a really tough quarter for him. He could not get his shots to drop. The rebound goes to the Rockets. Pass to Porter. 
And then Porter Kevin with the dunk. Porter, oh, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. Ball outside. Levine against Bridges. And stolen by Wood. Here's Porter. Oh, he's locked in. Green just Porter, fits shot in his many Junior. attempts. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. And you get some traditional big man stuff from Wood. But you look at his handles going one-on-one -on -one outside. That's how you feel. Oh, okay. Oh, you see by Levine won the dunk contest in 2016. I mean, he has endless ups. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Basket counts. Hey, man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Porter against Levine. is the glass on the layup. Levine's got eight points. And the Rockets have got eight of 13 attempts to go. Here's Cunningham. Pounded by ball. There's the triple. Nails it from beyond the arc. And it's a tie ball game. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. Here's Pollard. Coming off a 12-point game. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. This quarter expending tremendous energy at the offensive end. He's not slowing down. He's still calling for it. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Hornets. They're playing with no fear so far. They're getting physical and getting to the line. A bunch of their points coming that way. One other thing we've seen them execute to this point is good ball movement to set up those easy scoring chances. Houston has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Takes the three. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Here's a three from Paul. Goes back up. Here's Pollard. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. Wow, he really fires up his team with his ability to extend possessions. Pass to Martin. Over Washington. Another shot. And no good. And Charlotte going the other way now. And here's Paul. Here's Pollard. Back to Paul. Now here's Graham from deep. It's not going to go for him. Here's Willis. He's covered by Levine. Here's Martin. Oh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, very aggressive. I mean, he takes on the challenge with no hesitation. Inside. Here's Pollard. Off target with a jump hook. And that's a foul called on P.J. Washington. That's his first foul. Baisley, he's checked in for Charlotte. And a change for the Rockets. Hardaway's checked in. The Rockets shooting 53%, setting the tone right from the opening tip. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his first foul.
Pass to Willis. Here's Martin. Oladipo outside. Hardaway on the wing. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. And it's Paul off the drive. Oladipo with the rebound. Houston has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. The Hornets with a lead. Pass to Baisley. Outside Graham to the paint. Here's Washington. And a great assist by Graham as that one goes. A little contact with Washington stays solid. He uses some physical play to ensure the bucket. Outside Hardaway. the drive and they're going to count that bucket and they'll send him to the line it could be a three-point play and <laughs> they keep trading punches both teams in a groove early yeah and this is what you love to see both teams going at it working to get to their spots and cashing in It's tied up with that one. Now Paul. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Only in quarter number one. He's put in four out of five. Great start. They're really not doing themselves any favors picking up this many fouls so early. And the Rockets shooting 55%. An ideal start so far. It's Oladipo with a drive. And it's Oladipo finishing it off. Plays with great energy. When Oladipo makes successful drives, things start to open up for the rest of his team. Pass to Pollard. And it's Charlotte converting. Oh. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. To the middle. Here's Martin. And he makes it. Martin's got six points. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Charlotte has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. To the left side wing. Here's Paul. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Victor Oladipo. I've never been afraid to put himself in harm's way. CP3 knows how to get to the line. Some people don't give Chris Paul enough credit for his outstanding shooting. But he can knock it down. You can't give him any room. That's good from Paul. Well, Grant, Chris Paul just gets more and more reliable as a shooter, even after all these years in the league. Yeah, I mean, he's always been smart with his shots, but he has great efficiency for a guard, and he could easily put up bigger scoring numbers, but that's not his focus. Paul hits them both. I mean, look, with all the hand injuries he's had over the years, I don't know how Paul's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, some of his fingers look like they got four knuckles. Here's Oladipo. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Pass to Paul. Paul. 
laid it in with a nice touch off the window. And the Hornets lead by three. You can't keep CP3 down here, even when you body him up. And here's Oladipo. His last outing, he had 18 points. The three, Hardaway. Hauled in by Paul. Well, the Hornets shooting a phenomenal 60% on the first. Here's Baisley. Tries again. Holler can't get it to go. And the Rockets with possession here. It was, frankly, embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were, too. No, no, they just had nothing going on for them. They, they look very defeated out there. Charlotte's gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Now here's Paul. He's been contributing over 15 a game. And he lobs it up top. Ooh, the death touch on the lob. Chris Paul, you got to have your hands ready. If you're over here, find you The scoring is fast and furious as we end the first. Hornets out in front, leading by five. And the second quarter is on its way when we return. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. Taking a look at the Hornets' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. Showing no mercy right now. The shooters look frustrated seeing so many of their shots get stifled. The Rockets trail. And we've got P.J. Washington. And it's Graham in at the small forward. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hornets. The shot by Oladipo, no good. And for the Hornets, their shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. They grab their own miss. Holler can't get it to go. And the Rockets' shooting has been good. Around 52% from the field. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It would be an interim to somewhat offensively. Oladipo has really honed his skill. Shooting, ball handling, passing, all moves. down the first one and Oladipo now is not only more prolific he's more efficient he's taking better shots he's, he's committed fewer turnovers the team can run the offense through him with confidence Anderson's checked in for Charlotte Christian Wood is checked in for the Rockets that misses so he splits the free throws well it seems like now every player is expected to be able to do it all Chris are the days of the specialist player behind us? I hope so. Because I'll tell you what, you can shortchange with specialists. You can only put specialists in at certain times. The specialists can't guard. The specialists can't shoot. The specialists... Whatever happened to just having a game? And that's what we're going to get back to. Game. What can you do? How can you help the team? Let's go. Graham misses. And here are the Rockets. They trail by six. Following this one, they get to host the Bulls. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. The former number two overall pick in 2013, Oladipo gives you production, but he also plays with a bit of an edge. And no doubt, when he's rolling, Oladipo strikes fear in the hearts of the opponents. Yeah, B.A., I mean, he's merciless on the tack. He plays with so much heart and passion. Not much fun to play against, but he's exciting to watch. Free throw drops for Oladipo. The Hornets making a switch here. Ball's checked in. Bridges, he's checked in for the Rockets. Cunningham comes in for Hardaway. And Oladipo drops them both. 
and give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. For Charlotte, they've gotten only one of four shots to go in. Here's Baisley. Still getting warmed up offensively. No bucket yet of the game from him. Had he played a stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. First free throw is good. Wagner's checked in for Graham. Porter Jr., he's checked in for the Rockets. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Cunningham. Bridges outside. Shoots over Anderson. The Rockets with another miss. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Washington passes to Ball. And here's Wagner. The three is up. And Cunningham pulls it down. And he's going for the oop here. And it's Bridges with the chance. And using his athleticism to his advantage like when Bridges goes up and finishes that move. Ball outside. Pass to Wagner. Ball with it. He's guarded by Porter. Five on the clock. Here's Wagner. The rebound by Willis. Well, Houston's shooting a nice 50% for the game. here in the second quarter of action. Just a hair under two and a half minutes play. Quarter the pass to Wood. Drives to the hoop. That one drops. And it comes off an assist from Porter. Tremendous adjustment in mid and hard to stay focused on the hoop when he got to that number. Pass the ball. Walker with it. He's got five. Beyond the arc. Rebound by Bridges. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Wood finds Bridges. Here's Cunningham. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth hey, on that foul. Coming in. The first free throw is good. Levine, he's checked in for Charlotte. And the Rockets making a change here. That one drops. He ties it up. Charlotte has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Ball passes to Levine. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Shot clock at six. And Wagner gets it to go. Wagner's got seven points. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Wood outside. Out left to the wing. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. The Hornets have gotten only two of eight field goals to go in the second. Pass to Wagner. 
Here's Washington, guarded by Wood. Now Levine fires from deep, and he drains it. A solid five for six now. As soon as Levine hits a few of these, you know he's feeling it. Just keep getting him the ball. Here's Cunningham. Now here's Bridges. Anderson covers. Down low. Here's Wood. And Wood with the stuff. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Oh, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Shot is good by Levine. This system is set up perfectly for him today. I mean, it's allowing him to find a lot of good shots. Porter finds Bridges. Anderson covers. Nice D from Anderson. Charlotte has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. And it's blocked by Wood. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wood. Houston on D. It's a five-point game. Outside Levine. The three is up. Charlotte gets it back. Ball. On defense, Bridges has a good mix of strength and speed. Keeps his man under solid pressure. Here's Porter. Ooh, he's been flawless tonight. Now he's six for six. Oh, forget about three-pointers. Give me a look from right in tight. I'll take it all day long. Levine against Porter. And that doesn't go either for Levine. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. My Two points. That one goes. Cade and it's now Cade. only a one-point Charlotte lead. Washington outside. Pass to Levine. The three. And that doesn't go either for Levine. The Rockets have gone five of ten in the second quarter. Here's Cunningham. He's got six. Ooh, Washington with the defensive effort. Here's Anderson. And it's rejected. Oh, nice defense from Bridges. When he hustles like this, he's capable of swatting shots. Outside Levine, six to shoot. Pass to Wagner. From deep. The rebound by Bridges. Bridges has got his fifth rebound in this one. He'll breathe a big sigh of relief if they hang on to win this game. He's not done much to contribute to it. Here's Cunningham, pounded by Ball. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. On ball. Cade Cunningham. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. The Hornets making a switch here. Paul's checked in, and the Rockets making a change here as well. Martin, he's checked in for Wood. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. And so it's Charlotte with it. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. Here's Levine. Again, the miss by the Hornets. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. It took him a while to get going.
That's good from Bridges. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Well, the Hornets shooting 41% in this game. Outside Levine. They need this. The rebound by Bridges. He's cold from distance here in the second quarter. May want to try a different approach moving forward. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Timeout call, the Hornets. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. Four rotations, I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. for ball. On defense, the Rockets. Outside Paul. Back to Wagner. Over to the wing. Just four to shoot. And finished off by Graham. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And, and rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this tight? And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Houston. Well, they've carried out a great game plan in the paint so far. Working it down low a lot and getting high percentage looks. The other thing they've done is immediately get out on the fast break. They're definitely getting some points that way. And he makes a first. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Misses. Charlotte trailing to the paint. And Wagner gets it to go. Wagner's got nine. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First one falls. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Well, the horn is shooting around 29% in quarter number two. Out to the right wing. Back to Graham. Back comes Houston in transition. Ball against Oladipo. Over Paul. The Rockets again can't hit. And for Charlotte, they're shooting about 43% in this one. Oh. 
Outside Grant. Pass to Levine. Outside Paul. Just five to shoot. Hits the trifecta. Paul's got seven points. Strong four. Paul, he's a dead eye shooter from beyond. Oladipo outside. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. This isn't like him. He knows it. the best thing they could do is try to give him more easy looks. Wagner up top. Plenty of space. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. 11 points in the game. The bounce pass right on the money. Great setup. Oladipo outside. Here's Martin. He has seven. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. He'll take advantage of that kind of soft defense every time. Just give him a chance to attack the basket, and he will. Pass to Paul. Here's Pollard. Back to Paul. Levine against Hardaway. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. Oladipo with a block. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Baisley, he's checked in for Charlotte. Houston in the lead. 125 left in the first half. To the inside, Martin. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in, coming off that pick. Charlotte is shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. Here's Wagner. And he makes it on the layup. Wagner's got eight here in this quarter. Now, but sometimes you don't need a haymaker. Just a jam. You gotta get those easy looks inside. Oladipo with the ball. Paisley on him. And he recovers it. Oladipo shots good. Oladipo. And that's why you never stop working in the paint at either end of the floor. The Hornets shooting the rock well at 46%. Hardaway against Levine. Pass to Baisley. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Pretty even game right now in Charlotte. I really didn't see much of an edge from them. A little more intensity could have gone a long way. Only surprise is that the margin wasn't great. I mean, somehow they managed to hang around despite the lack of effort and force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Hardaway against Levine. Fires the three. Gets the three ball to go. Levine's got 19. A decent threat from downtown. You gotta see Levine nailing this shot more and more. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. The Rockets on top, leading by three. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Houston found themselves in a close game in the first. They were in a rough spot down seven at one point, but kept it from getting worse than that. And they turned it on during that second quarter, turning that deficit into a lead, playing with confidence. Kenny, what'd you think about the Rockets? They obviously came in wanting to push the ice. And so far, so good. They're looking to get easy transition baskets because the other team is not getting back on defense. 
And big fella, your thoughts on the Hornets. Man, stop fouling. The laziness of the defensive end is resulting in way too many free points at the line. Gotta tighten up, play with better fundamentals, or this game can get away from it. battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Or Zach Levine has been sensational. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Taylor Jenkins. Cunningham is out there with Kevin Porter. Then there's Christian Wood. Then it's Miles Bridges. Well, that's almost a sure thing when you leave him that wide open on the perimeter. I mean, that's his sweet spot. Ball right side. Ooh, making his presence felt here. He's now six for nine in this game. Sees his man. Threads the pass inside. Excellent teamwork. Here's Wood. And he Christian takes it in Wood. for the layup off a very Cade nice feed. Cunningham. Wood's got six points. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. They'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime on the defensive end. Now, D.A., one thing Wood really knows how to do is be like seven foot two wins, man. He goes all out every play. If you give him the minutes, he'll average double digits. Now here's Wagner. He's guarded closely. Outside Levine. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. He's got 15. And Coach loves how Wood attacks the offensive glass, extending possessions. Well, B.A., all you have to do is look at Wood's sharp shot. I mean, he gets a lot of putback tip-ins and dunks. I mean, he plays like a guy who's had to work for everything he's got. Let's go with a three. Hornets with the rebound. Ball's got his fifth rebound in this one. Wagner with it, and Bridges picks him up defensively. In transition, he's all alone. And the fast break ends at the rim with a jam. And that's exactly the effort they want to see Bridges putting into his D. Anticipates, pounces, and the steal turns into points on the board. And Ball gets it to go. Nice and steady so far in the second half. They're three for four. Here's Cunningham, pounded by Ball. Carries the seven-footer. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Levine against Porter. And Levine, here we go. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Levine's got 21 points in the game. And that makes him four for five. I mean, I think that's pretty good numbers. I mean, they've got to be pleased with how things are playing off so far. Well, that's a look they always want him to take. Because if he's got the space, he's got the green light. Cade Cunningham. Quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Outside Levine. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Christian Wood picks one up. Now the athleticism of Levine, it makes him a hard guy to cover. I mean, he, he loves getting the contact. Zach. That free throw no good. And the Hornets making a change here. Washington's checked in.
And the second free throw is good. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Pass to Cunningham. The Hornets pull it in. Ball outside. For three. It's rebounded by Houston. Bridges has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass to Cunningham. Third quarter of basketball here. Oh, okay. oh my! Throw it down! Impressive. And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. And how about the mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Six on the shot clock. The three from Ball. Ball target from range. Ball's got eight points. This is the attitude Anderson brings. A selfless player who loves giving it up to his open guys. To the middle. Here's Cunningham. Banked it in off the glass. And the Rockets lead by seven. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Porter against Levine. Up and over Porter. And misses it off the right side of the rim. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them, too. Bridges passes to Porter. Wood outside. Puts up a three. Washington grabs a miss. Washington's got five rebounds tonight. Pass the ball. Outside Levine. And Miles Bridges is going to pick up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. Paul, he's checked in for Wagner. Here's Paul. Seven points in the game. Outside Levine. Connects from downtown. Levine's got 25 points. Bronx's first three of the second half. After the other two in the first, they don't want to let this fella get going. Here's Cunningham. He's guarded by Washington. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. Oh, great instincts there from Washington. Leaving the situation rising up to spike it. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. And so it's Houston with it. They lead by four. Five to shoot. shot that one falls Cade give him 20 he's putting the hammer down dominant quarter for him trying to push out that lead charlotte's gone three or four from outside in the second half now here's paul tight defense on him Doesn't go that time. So Houston will take it the other way. Here's Cunningham. Give him 20. And the layup is good off the glass. And now an eight-point Houston lead. A tale of two halves. After a slow start, he's turning his offense around. And it's Washington missing. Houston has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Bridges with it. Guarded now by Anderson. Here's Wood. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Houston. I love how they've attacked the basket in this game. They've taken a very aggressive approach. 
Another thing that jumps out to me is the big number of assists that they made over the course of this game. The Hornets making a switch here. Graham's checked in. Free throw off from Wood. And Grant, you've been around the game in so many roles. From player, broadcaster, owner. Talk about how the game has grown and the opportunities for continued growth. Well, we know how the game here in the U.S. has really gained prominence and is hugely successful and popular. And I also think that's happened over the years globally as well. But continuing to popularize the game in Africa, India, China, and elsewhere is exciting. There are so many new frontiers for this league to grow, and I'm excited that we're moving forward in that direction. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Historically, a few franchises have gobbled up most of the NBA championships. A significant number of teams have never won a title, though. However, we're in an interesting time. A lot of those franchises are looking for their first title. They're among the top teams now, and guys, they're hoping to get on the board. Oh, yes. Very interesting, Ali. Thanks for that. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Washington against Porter. Takes it inside. And then Porter with the dunk. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Ooh, what a tough PA. <laughs> It's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. Paul finds Anderson. Baisley, he's checked in for Charlotte. Side Graham. Pass to Paul. Up and over Hardaway. He gets rebounded by Houston. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. And he slams it in one-handed. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. Inside. And Washington with the basket on the assist from Graham. Washington's got four points this quarter. Now Oladipo, 11 points in the game. And he drives in. And his fifth make of the game in 12 attempts. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. The Hornets have gone 50% from the field in the third quarter. 8 of 16. Graham, the pass to Paul. Here's Baisley. He's guarded by Oladipo. Here's Baisley. It's deflected. And here's Oladipo. Hardaway finds Oladipo. And there's two. Work on the glass. Paying off that time. And the Rockets lead by 16. Charlotte has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Outside Graham. The three ball. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got six assists now in the game. Houston has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Oladipo outside. Pass to Willis. Launches a three. That one no good. And Charlotte going the other way now. Paul passes to Graham. Here's Paisley. And here's Paul, defended by Hardaway from downtown. And it's Martin with the rebound. Martin's got his fifth rebound in this one. And there's 138 left in the third quarter. And the ball out of play. The Hornets will have it. Bridges, he's checked in for Martin.
133 left in the third quarter. Ball against Hardaway to the inside. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. They needed that, and I love that he just didn't settle for the lane. Oladipo shot's good. His three-point shot looks so pure. The defense allowing him to get comfortable out there. Ball against Hardaway. Pass to Pollard. Stolen by Bridges. In transition. Here they come. Here's Oladipo. Oh, he connects. His seventh basket. He's 7 of 15 now. So adept at beating the defense. Oladipo's quickness and high IQ are lethal in these open court situations. Outside Paul. Outside Graham. Here's Baisley. Clock at six. Pass to Washington. This one for three. He's got it. Six and ten now. The shooting has been a bright spot for them. Otherwise, they've struggled with hope. Houston has got three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. There's 18 seconds left in the third. Now here's Oladipo. He's got 18. Here's the three. And the Rockets hit again from deep. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. <laughs> Let's talk about the great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Rockets ahead, up by 16. And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. As we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works, or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Well, the Hornets shooting at a respectable 49%. We've got Zach Levine, and it's Graham in at the three. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. And Wagner gets it to go. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easy it makes it for him to get to the cup. Bridges with it. A rebound by Pollard. Here's Levine. And it's blocked by Wood. And he gets it back. Shot by Levine. No good. Houston shooting a fantastic 57%. Oladipo, the pass to Wood. And Wood with the stuff. Drawing so much attention, Oladipo rotates the ball to the open man. Here's Baisley. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Wagner with it, guarded now by Wood. They recover it. Now here's Bridges. The D's right on him. Wood outside releases that one's wide left for Charlotte they've gone one of four since the fourth quarter began and that one's good Wagner's gotten four this quarter uh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist Oladipo outside it's rebounded by Wagner Wagner's got five rebounds tonight pass to Baisley Here's Levine. No good off the back of the rim. And it's Houston's ball. Here's Bridges. It's hauled in by Baisley. The Hornets have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Back comes Houston in transition. Reporter Bridges knocks it down from distance. Bridges. 
And the Rockets lead by 17. And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. Here's Baisley, guarded by Wood. Here's the floater, and he gets the bucket. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Here's Oladipo. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Well, Oladipo's game features a lot of speed. If you don't keep up with him, he'll make you pay. The free throw drops for Oladipo. So for the Hornets, Anderson's checked in for Graham, and it's Ball in for Baisley. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Off on that one, so he goes one out of two at the line. And he's one of those stat sheet stuffers. Kyle Anderson at 6'9 gives you rebounding, playmaking, Grant a little bit of everything. I mean, the combination of size with skill is what makes him special. And his wingspan helps him impact the game in so many ways. He hasn't been able to find any kind of groove this court. I mean, it seems like he's been running on fuel since halftime. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Yeah, good whistle there. Christian Wood. Good on the free throw. Cunningham's checked in for the Rockets. And he's good on the second. Now ball. Outside Levine. Back to ball. Pass to Levine. Anderson with it. Six on the shot clock. Rockets with a rebound. Bridges has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Cunningham. Anderson covers. Now Bridges. No good that time. Ooh, excellent D there from Ball. The Hornets shooting around 30% since the fourth quarter got underway. Levine, good. What about the touch on the floater? Levine making a difficult shot. Wood up top. The floater. And he lays it up and in. Wood. And the Rockets lead by 17. <laughs> that's just great touch. The teardrop. Oh, that's all about feel. Outside Levine. Pass the ball. Here's Pollard. Down low. Fades. That shot off the mark. And Houston will come the other way. He's disappeared this quarter. He can't get anything to drop. That's not going to help him get out of the hole. Here's Cunningham, hounded by ball. Shot from 12. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Bridges has gotten just four of his 10 shots to fall here. Pass the ball. Back to Levine. Anderson with it. 
the kick out to Ball. It's stolen. Now Porter. Wood inside. Kept alive by Houston. They shoot again. Bridges finds Wood. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Anderson. Everyone in the Christian building saw Wood. the obvious contact. That one's off. Finally getting himself to the free throw line. He was sitting back in the first half with no free throws to show for it. He hits the second from the line. A difficult situation for Charlotte. Pass to Pollard. To the wing. Right side. And he's going for the lob. Nice catch and finish on the lob. Smooth finish off a terrific feed. Man, the timing and execution couldn't have been any better right there. Bridges outside. Here's Cunningham. That one goes. Kane Count it. Cunningham. Cunningham's got 24 points. Nice feed by Bridges. I mean, since entering the league in 2018, Miles has looked to increase his assist numbers. Here's Pollard. Over Wood. Pollard can't get it to go. Houston has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Pass to Cunningham. The three-pointer off the mark. Oh, man, as good of a shooter as he is, it drives him crazy to miss a wide-open three like that. Now here's Ball. Let's a floater go. It's rebounded by Houston. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Porter, Porter gets Junior. the bucket. They've been a little soft Miles with their defense Bridges. on the interior. Well, the Hornets shooting the ball at 46% for the floor. Here's Levine. And so he draws Kevin the foul, Porter. headed to the line to shoot a pair. Coaching turnover is a fact of life in the NBA. Grant, as a player, oh. how tough is it to adapt to a new coach? Well, it depends on the timing. I mean, an off-season change gives the team a time to get used to a new system. Now, if it happens in mid-season, it can be a little tough. The learning curve is definitely steep. gets them both and for the Rockets they're shooting 33% this hasn't been their quarter Wood high post and a foul called on the way up so he'll take two from the free throw line and even from where we're sitting you could clearly tell it was a foul Christian Wood That one misses. Their lead could be even bigger right now. But their efficiency from the line has dropped off a little. And he can't make the second free throw either. He missed them both. 
And Charlotte shooting 33%. This hasn't been their quarter. And Wagner gets it to go. Just the one that's nice from He got into the floor of the game and has not lost his touch. Outside Porter. Here's Cunningham. Hounded by Ball. Pass to Bridges. Back to Porter. Six to shoot. Over Levine. Porter shot is off. They're doing what they can do to mount a comeback. In B.A., they don't have to get it all back at once. Just focus on making every possession count. Ball outside. And there's the call on the mellow ball. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. And that's his fourth foul. Now he's going to have to be careful. Still a little ways to go when only two fouls to spare. Houston has gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. And here's Cunningham outside. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Levine's got eight rebounds in the game. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Levine's got 12 points here in the second half. He's done everything he can to give them a lift tonight, but it hasn't been enough. Timeout called. Houston. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. in our New Balance Player of the Game, Cade Cunningham. <laughs> what an impressive performance for him tonight, particularly on the scoreboard. But understand, the team's unselfish play, the ball movement, the player movement, allowed him to convert consistently on the offensive end. Well, he's getting in a groove at the perfect time, just as they're getting ready to do battle in the postseason. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Taylor Jenkins had to say to his team. He said to his players, you may want to get comfortable with this lead, but we can't afford that. That's when we get into trouble. Just keep executing the game plan and trust in one another. All right, Allie, thanks once again. Finds Porter. Here's Bridges. And it's Bridges with the chance. Oh, incredible verticality from Bridges. I mean, he takes off over the defense and just buries the dunk. Now here's Ball. Guarded closely. And the shot's good. He's getting harder the deeper we get into this game. I mean, he didn't give him, didn't give him much of anything in the first half. Outside Porter. to the paint. It's tipped. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Kevin Porter Jr. Free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The Hornets shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. 
and Levine gets it to go on the assist by Ball. Ball's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Here's Cunningham, pounded by Ball. Ball with a steal. Now the Hornets moving it up. And the shot goes. Ball's got 10 points here in the second half. Strange game for him. Never made any noise in the first half, and here in the second, he's been everywhere. Bridges outside. And out of bounds, the Hornets will take it. That's just a needless given. You've got to make the defense work for their turn. Here's Charlotte. They're on a 12-4 run. Here's Levine. Wood grabs the board. Wood's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. There's the drive. Count it. That's his sixth field goal in 12 tries. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. And that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with the comfortable lead. Outside Levine. That one drops for him. Levine's got 10 points in the quarter. And the wily strength of Levine. I mean, he does a great job bending off the defense on the way up. Here's Cunningham, pounded by Ball. Yeah, that one's good. Cunningham. Cunningham's got 26 points. Levine against Porter. That shot, no good. Some solid D from Wood. Houston has gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Cunningham. A minute nine left in the fourth quarter. And down it goes. Two points. And the Rockets lead by 16. And they were really able to find the mismatches they wanted and exploit those all night. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Rockets. Simply taking better care of the ball may have made all the difference. Yeah, and then on the defensive end, they kept the pressure on and forced a number of miscues. And this result tonight, it gets them to 44 wins on the year. And this team really wanted to at least split this season series. So Charlotte ends up going with a new group. 54 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Porter. Oh, he nails it. Yeah, 10 for Porter 14 after Jr. that one. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Well, this is what guys play for. And when it pans out like this, it's a great fit. Outside Jones. And here's Jackson. Back to Jones. Just five on the clock. Here's Sharp. No good. A bit long that time. And here are the Rockets now. Outside Porter. And so Houston takes this one by a big margin. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Chris Weber, and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.